Sony PlayStation, Microsoft Xbox One and Nintendo Switch owners may have picked up some sensational Black Friday deals this week, but this piece of news regarding DLC and microtransaction purchases. DSPS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch gamers shocking news following huge Black Friday sales it's been a huge week for gamers across all major platforms. PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch owners have been able to pick up some excellent Black Friday deals, but as many might know, that's not where games stop making money. DLC and in-game microtransactions also make up a big portion of game developers' income. But this week, despite the recent uproar over loot boxes, it's been revealed that more than 80% of players would still buy a video game even if it was stuffed full of these controversial microtransactions. Though microtransactions have never been particularly popular, the gaming community has especially outraged after a forced hated loot boxes on players of its new Star Wars Battlefront 2 game. People went nuts, with some vowing not to buy the game and any other electronic arts title in future because favorite characters like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker were locked from online play unless you wanted to pay extra, on top of the game cost, to get early access to them. The alternative was to grind for hundreds of hours on end, slowly earning enough in-game credits to unlock the heroes and their star card special abilities from the sci-fi franchise. It was calculated that unlocking and maxing every star card in Battlefront 2 requires either 4,528 hours of gameplay or 1,500 pounds worth of loot box purchases, on average but despite the uproar, it seems that's not put off the entire gaming community. LenderDo, a financial advice website for students, carried out a poll of gamers to find out what they really thought of microtransactions in games. Andrew Rombach, of the firm, said, Interestingly, most video gamers support paid downloadable content and microtransactions, thinking they add value to a video game. Black Friday 2017 kicks off on November 24 and here are some of the best deals available right now. Many are willing to spend an additional $100, $200 on extra content a year, he added in the report. In the armor, developers of the EA's new game, Star Wars Battlefront 2, explained how much players would have to spend on top of the base price of the game in order to unlock all available features $2,100. This is over 3,400% of the game's retail asking price, of course, this isn't the norm today. Countless video games cost $60 up front and come loaded with options to spend more money for additional DLC though we assume most don't crack the 3,000 percentile marker. With that being said, we were curious what gamers today are willing to spend on their favorite hobby as well as paid downloadable content. The poll found that 56% of gamers think the current paid downloadable content system is beneficial to gaming, and a massive 80% said they will not stop buying video games that come with microtransactions. The majority of players want to spend the standard £50 odd on a game and have the option of extra payable downloaded content afterwards. They also would prefer to pick and choose what content they'd pay an extra sum for, so for example specific guns or camo designs for their weapons. 8 in 10 have bought DLC for a game on top of the base price in the past, they admitted. That was mostly single-player missions, to give the game's main story longevity. And the majority said, they'd felt under pressure to pay extra points for more content. Related articles however, a third of players have admitted to ditching games once they realized there was DLC. Content they'd have to stump up more for just get the most out of their experience. So, if you're a read anything about the dissent about Battlefront's paid DLC economy and currency, system, then you'd think that DLC is hated among gamers everywhere, Mr. Rombach added. Well, we found the opposite to be true. In fact, the majority of our respondents have bought into the current downloadable content system. An overwhelming 82.0% of respondents said they have bought DLC for a video game. It turns out that video gamers actually prefer the current paid downloadable content system. In some cases, paying double upfront could actually save you tons of money down the road. The flexibility and option to pick and choose DLC on a game seems to win out here as opposed to just getting it all for an extra $60. We pitched this alternative DLC system where you'd get everything for a monthly subscription, but it turns out that gamers prefer the pick-choose scheme when it comes to DLC.
Looks like the flexibility and options win out again. Related articles.